Hello, my name is Father Ryan Stallways. I've been ordained a priest about a year now, and here's a little bit about my story. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, journeying with God, placing yourself in the palm of His hand is going to bring a sense of hope, a sense of trust. It's going to bring a sense of fulfillment. And I really started to appreciate that even more when it came time for my priestly ordination. It was maybe a couple months before that where I started having um, trouble breathing at night. I was feeling kind of tired and, and drowsy and I figured I'd go to see my doctor. When I went in, he, he did an x-ray of my lungs to, to see how things were going and he told me some, some pretty startling news. He said, Ryan, Deacon Ryan at the time, um, you've got a tumor in your, in your lung and I think it's cancerous. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take a look and um, do some further tests. And so for me to, to have that news right at the time of my ordination, right when I felt like my life was, was really picking up, when I was really gonna be able to do the things that, um, that I wanted to do, that I'd been preparing to do for so long, was, uh, was quite a blow. Um, but the process of, of going through that, of, of taking that to prayer, realizing that this might not be completely contrary to God's will in my life, as, as mysterious that is. Lord, maybe this experience of life is forming me to, in a unique way, fulfill the mission that you have for me. We have a choice how we will respond when we face hardship uh, of any kind, um, whether we change the course or whether we step back, reevaluate. For my experience, I certainly did a lot of that. Wait a minute, Lord. I've had seven years of seminary um, with a clean bill of health. And then now here, right when I'm so excited, now is when that I'm experiencing these struggles with, um, with my health. And, and I certainly did step back and wonder, what does this mean? What, is, um, what am I supposed to do with this? And um, within that, I, and, and through prayer, I've realized that for Catholics, adversity and hardship is not something to, to shy away from. It's not something to, um, to, to run away from, um, but to face it and to embrace it with, uh, with the grace of God. One of the paradoxes of our faith is that we look to Jesus Christ on the cross. We look to one who is wounded. We look to our Lord who is suffering for our own healing. Maybe one of the most, um, the most profound experiences I've had is, is being sick myself and being asked to pray for um, the health of another. As I'm praying for those who are sick, as I'm anointing those who are preparing for surgery and, and are asking for God's healing in their lives, to experience the priesthood, to experience being another Christ, recognizing that we're all weak, we're all wounded, and yet God calls us from that place to be a part of the healing of the mystical body of Christ to be a part of the healing of this world. One of the uncertainties that I had in seminary and, and even as I began to be a priest is, you know, am I going to do everything right? Am I going to, am I going to be the best that I can be? Am I going to be what other people need during that time? And I've experienced the consolation in knowing that God is just asking me to be who I am. He's placed me in these circumstances and he's given me the grace. One of the most beautiful experiences I've had is consecrating the Eucharist, elevating the host, and to realize, Lord, this is who you've called me to be. Lord, I am now who you've asked me to be as a priest of Jesus Christ. And the circumstances of life, the the concerns about my health, the, the plans for the future, 
none of that matters in that moment. Just to think that, Lord, you brought me to this point and you've allowed me to experience this and I'm, I'm fulfilled in this. My advice to someone who, who is considering the priesthood, who are discerning their, um, their vocation in life, is to be open with our Lord, is to be trusting that His will is the best possible outcome in our lives. To recognize that though we may be wounded and though we may have our weaknesses, that God can accomplish His will through them. That in our weakness, He can become our strength. And so, not to back away, not to shy away um, from the hardships or even the challenge of, of what God may call you to, but to trust in Him and to learn to love His will in your life.